through the ceiling drip drip down from the bathroom and we've had to turn the water off basically apart from about five minutes a day where we have to just fill up loads of things with water so that's been fun and quite tiring and I really know what to do some washing because the sun's out and I can't <laughs> it's piling up and I have to go to my mum's and do some washing soon if we don't get it fixed we're waiting for the part so yeah I'm feeling a bit like whew. let's go to the beach shall we I'll put in my little beach film where we saw a lovely sunrise and we had a couple of pops of porridge so i'll pop that in now and then we can catch up on what else has happened apart from the icky scene We've got a sock update, a new crochet project, exciting, and English paper piecing, my favourite thing, one of my favourite things, and I haven't made any animals. I started the Dutch rabbit, but I just wasn't in the mood, so I didn't, I've cut it all out, but I wasn't in the mood for stitching it, so I haven't, I want it finished, but I'm not in the mood for making it, so I just keep imagining how great it's going to be. So I said, no, just wait Lily, until you're in the mood, that will be fine. So that's all cut out, ready. But then I've been seeing Bramble Bear has been talking to me and saying, what about me? What about me? So I can't decide. And while we've got no water, everything's taken so long extra to do. So, yeah, it hasn't been much of a starting loads of projects type of week. But I have. Should I show you my crochet one first of all? So I've joined a knit and stitchy kind of knitting crochet evening, which is local to me. So I thought oh, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go. So I was really chuffed with myself. I went and that was really, everyone was really lovely and friendly. That was really nice. And I thought, should I take my socks? <laughs> well, because it said knitting. I thought, what if you have, to? you know, when you overthink things, what if you have to knit? So I did take my socks. Actually, I'll show you what I'm doing with the socks is literally, well, I've changed. I was going to do toe up. That was too hard. Then because I can't really knit, I can knit, but I don't knit normally at all. So I haven't knitted since probably maybe school. Um, so yeah, the, I kept trying to turn off. No, that's getting a bit complicated. And then I remembered I've got these tiny little, the right size little needles. So I'm still practicing on this wool, which is too big, too fat, but I'm just practicing on it. So I've now started cuff down and I'm kind of getting the hang of it. So what I'm doing is starting and then ripping it out and then practicing again. So I'm getting the hang of it, just getting the hang of using the needles, stitching small on the round and everything. Make sure it looks like a rib stitch. It looks ribbed when I make sure I'm doing it right. I've got a little stitch, and I made that one myself, a little stitch marker. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just carry on with that, but I took it with me in case we had to knit, but everyone was crocheting. There was a few knitters, but mainly everyone was crocheting. So I thought, oh, that's fine. So. I thought that was going to be a little bit too hard to concentrate on. <laughs> I don't want to look a bit, but I don't know what I'm doing. 
So I thought I need to start a new crochet. And because I've got that wool out, I remembered I'd bought some more of that. And I've had it for absolutely yonks and I've never used it. I don't think maybe for an animal cape, little shawl for one of the little animals, for the little duck, I think. And yeah, maybe a little bag or something. I think Shane's got a backpack with some of it. He has indeed. Shane's, his son's just come out, Shane's backpack with it. Maybe he wants to be on board. There we go. Um, yeah, and I've got a few different colours. I think they're both the same actually, aren't they? Are they different? Yeah, I've got three. There's three different colours there. So they were from So Happy Creative. I bought those, or oh, it must have been about two years ago, a long time ago, anyway. So I just thought, I know, I'll make some little granny squares. And normally I don't do stuff like this because I get a bit bored, but because I'm going to the knitting, it's perfect for doing it at the knitting. And I did quite a lot, did a couple before I went. So these are the ones I've done so far. I've got one, two, three, four, five in that one. And I've done this one as well. And what I'm going to do is just do some cream in between it's the back and make them kind of like a pretty it reminds me of because my bag i bought them in a few i put a picture on instagram and at the group as well and people said it looked a bit like the bag so i can't this is a bag i made myself i kind of like the idea of it looking that kind of like english paper piecing with the liberty and everything so i think they're all falling on the floor i think it kind of it does look similar, doesn't it? So that's my plan, and I think I will stick to it, because you know what I'm like with crochet blankets. I, don't, I get a bit bored with them. But this one's a bit more creative, because I'm making squares, and and it's something to do at the knitting group. So, and I'm just using a toft. I do really like the toft. I don't make toft animals anymore. I did, when I first started crocheting, I did make a lot of toft, but I don't, I don't do them anymore. So, but I really like their crochet hooks. So... That is my new blanket project. I'm quite excited about that. With this, it's just so nice to see what colours, how the colours form. But this is DK. It's not um, fingering weight, it's DK. So I won't be making socks or anything with that anyway. It's too thick. So, I mean, you probably can. I'm not an expert in socks, but mostly you use the skinny wool, as I like to call it. So that is a little project. And this is in a tiny bag, I'm presuming. I'll need a bigger bag when I get more and more and more. But at the moment, they're in there. So a new little crochet project. So I haven't completely, because I haven't crocheted much for ages. I've got a blanket down here, which I started. I think it's going to be a more of a winter project. This is one I started absolutely ages ago. But I haven't worked on it for ages. But I think maybe it's a summer thing. Maybe I'll do a bit more again in the winter. It doesn't matter, does it, if you start things and then you make them when you're in the mood or whatever. I think that's fine. I think we're all the same like that, aren't we? We just, just make, go with what you want to make at the time, is what I say. Don't pressurise yourself. And there's my little tin with all my bits and pieces in. My little scissors and everything. I took that as well. To the group. Right, let's pop that over there. I've shown you my tiny socks progress. I am, I won't give up with the socks, but I think it's the kind of thing, and that might be another reason why I did the crochet, because I, I need a break from concentrating on socks. <laughs> I need to do something I know how to do, so I don't feel so, you know, following all the videos and trying to do it and everything, so. And I've also got another project, there's a lot of starting projects this week. Um, I got a, this was, this is one of the prizes for the, in the giveaway on my last video, from Attic Spin Dye and Angela, sent me a lovely lot. Angela, I love the colours on this card and I'm going to use this for inspiration to make something else. The purple, you know I like pink and orange together. Well, I think my new favourite is yellow and purple because I just love the combination. So, I've, I'm, well, I'll keep it anyway, but I'm going to keep that to one side and when I need inspiration for something colour-wise, I'm going to use that card. And I did mention these, but I didn't show you. Let's put that safely over there. This, I'm saving, I've got one for the giveaway and one for myself. I'm saving this until I'm good at socks because I don't want to keep making it, unripping it, making it with that lovely um, 
yarn. So uh, Angela gave me some hand dyed little pieces of fabric, which I'm going to show you. There's the colours are absolutely beautiful and I just keep looking at the colours. If someone had said, we just look how nice they are. If someone had said to me, choose some colours, I would have chosen these colours. They're so, I'm just going to show you a few at a time. There's those ones and those ones as well. Is that two? There are one that's all. There's lots of different colours in that. So pretty. And there's that one which is all different colours, but it's a bit more pastel-y. I don't know if you can see, because the sun's always shining in here when I'm videoing. But... And also, just look at these. Oh, they're beautiful. Again, they are just the nicest colours. So thank you, thank you, Angela. They, I'm so kind of you. I'm so excited about those. And I've got a project already for them. So I'm going to, it's going to be English paper piecing. And I've ordered some one inch jewels. And I'm going to be making them into hearts. So I'm going to, they'll be wrapped around and made into hearts. And then I'm going to stitch them together and then I'm going to do some embroidery on them. I haven't decided, this probably seems wrong, but I haven't actually decided what, I'm going to, what it's going to be when it's finished. But I'm going to start and plan it out. And because I've been waiting to show you, I haven't started. But these arrived yesterday, so I was uh, pleased. But I haven't, I haven't started it because I thought I'm just going to wait. Because it wouldn't be so good showing the fabric has got <laughs> little chunks cut out. So yeah, that's my next English paper piecing project and with these gorgeous hand dyed threads. I've always wanted to have hand dyed threads. I didn't know whether it was a thing whether people did them or not to be honest. I thought they might but I hadn't seen them anywhere but then when I got these I was just excited. You can tell I'm excited can't you? And yes so that's going to be a project and I think it's going to look really pretty. All those lovely colours. Oh, I thought they were thick. I've got about three there all joined together. I've got 75 of these, so that's a lot. I don't know what it's going to be. I feel like a nice little, like a little table mat for my um, my sewing machine and my desk is kind of over that area under the stairs. That would be quite nice, a mat kind of thing, so I could just enjoy the colours. It's a good idea, isn't it? Just thought of that. Yeah. And then when I'm at work and I'm a bit stressed, I can just look down because my I, when I work basically it's where my sewing machine is and my work computer is so when I'm not at work I move it out of the way and I've got my sewing machine there and then when I'm back at work the keyboard's there so it'll be for my sewing machine can go on when I'm sewing and my keyboard can go on it when I'm at work and yeah that'll make me happy won't it even if I'm a bit stressed at work I can think oh, lovely colours lovely little hearts and I've never worked with the jewel shapes before so that's going to be something new but I do absolutely love English paper piecing and I love embroidery, so I'm excited to start that. So someone has asked me to get to get together some little kits, and I have thought about this before, um, little English paper piecing kits. So they would have the um, templates, some fabric, and then the option of buying the glue if you want to as well. I'm also going to put in some thread, so if you wanted to do the like I have on this one, if you wanted to do the stitches around the outside, you can. In like all matching colours, I've started cutting out some already because I'm going to, they will be, the fabric will be in the right shape, the right size for the hexagon. So it's all going to be ready for you. And so you'll get a selection of fabric pieces cut out ready and the amount, the right amount of, and these will be cut out just the right size so you can then glue around the outside. The option will be to buy the glue if you want to, you don't have to buy the glue. The, I use the Soline glue, which is um, about five or six pounds, quite expensive. So I'm gonna do that as a drop down box so you don't have to buy the glue if you don't want to, because you can also 
baste yourself with by, by sewing rather than gluing them on when you first put them on. I'm going to do a little video as well with how just the basics of English paper piecing, just a little one, just how I do mine with some like little hints, hints and tips and everything to go along with them. Um, I have thought about doing kits before. I quite like the idea of getting the colours together and getting everything together and making them all look nice and quite like that sort of thing. So yes, I've been in the process of cutting those out and I know uh, the lady who's asked for them, I will message her when they are ready. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot there and I'm using the Liberty Tarn the Lawn colours there. I think everyone will, each kit will have 28 hexagons and 28 um, sh fabric shapes. So if you want to, you can make you can make one of these bags if you want to. You can join them all together. You don't have to make flowers, join them all together and make something else, but it's just going to be a start for you. If you don't know it, where to start or you don't want to keep looking and buying all the stuff from separate shops and all that kind of thing, it's all there ready for you to have a go and practice and you're going to have the lovely Liberty fabrics to use as well. So that's something I've been working on and I've got some little boxes which I want to put them in, like little I can't find them. I had them when I, when I, I sold, I had a little while ago, I sold some of my sea glass jewellery, uh, which I don't sell anymore because I sold the silver jewellery and it was too expensive to buy all the silver in for the necklaces and everything and all the parts and, and then sort of keep it. And then, so I don't, I don't tend to do that anymore. Um, but I had some nice little, only little brown boxes, but they were perfect, perfect for posting them in. So I, I can't, I can't find them anywhere. I need to have a good rummage around to see if I can find them. So that's going to be, yeah, that's what I've been not working on, but I'm kind of thinking about that and working out how to do that. If you can think of anything else to put in, I won't put needles in, because obviously that's a bit, don't want to posting needles. But if you can think of anything else I could put in, maybe a little button for the middle. I don't know. I'll have a little think. But yeah, if you've got any ideas, then let me know. So I'm not going to make loads because I don't know how interested anyone will be, but I'm going to make a few and it's been quite nice. I've really enjoyed cutting them up. <laughs> it's been really good fun uh, finding all the colours and cutting them up anyway. So um, yeah, that's someone that something that will be on my Etsy shop soon. Um, on my list is making the sea glass stitch markers, but I still haven't done that. I need to do that. I've got my pumpkins out because, it sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? I've got... <laughs> I've got my pumpkin people out because it is, it's nearly autumn, isn't it? No, it's summery today. And this is one that I made last year. It's got a little stick in the middle. It's, it's a, a wood, found on the beach, a little bit of beach stick. Driftwood, but it doesn't really look driftwoody, does it? Kind of does. So yeah, that's my little pumpkin. Well, I suppose I'd better start thinking about making easy. Um, I've said before, I'm not a a Christmassy type of, oh, I'm going to make those Christmas stuff, but I do like changing seasons. So I tend to make seasonal things. So I might make something. I did say to Neil, oh, wouldn't the garlic people be, garlic, wouldn't the pumpkin people be nice a little baby? <laughs> so possibly a baby pumpkin. Do you think they should have a family? <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Possibly. Yeah, I must admit, I've been thinking, I've been getting excited for autumn, but I haven't thought about autumn makes. But I think it's because I've been thinking about things like, is the water coming through the roof? Not the roof, through the ceiling. It's the shower that's leaking. And we're just waiting for the part. And we can have the water. Neil's made a device, a device, a water bottle cut in a certain way and stuck in the shower. You can't isolate it, basically. So when we turn the water on, it leaks. You can't turn the shower off. And it's one of those ones where all the fittings are behind tiles. So the plumber said, well, I can smash the tiles or you can wait for the part. So we're going to wait for the part because they're quite expensive tiles. We didn't put the bathroom in. They're massive tiles and it's just all a bit fancy, whereas we just probably just put normal tiles in. And we wouldn't have put all the fittings behind the tiles. So we're hoping he's going to contact us today because we've been putting the water on for about... We can put it on, but we don't know how, if still some is coming down the back. Uh, down into the floor with the carpet was wet upstairs as well. Although most of it, when he puts the little bottle on, is coming forward down into the shower, the leak. 
so we're just waiting for that but it's been a bit of a, a bit of a pain I just want to do some washing I want to wash my hands probably properly I'm doing running water rather than just filling the bowl up with boiling water from the kettle and oh it's been a bit miserable it's okay and you know sometimes you don't even have any clean water so I do feel grateful of that and everything but I'll be glad when it's fixed so please plumber please please message today to say you've got the part and fix it so we can go back to normal again all the plants in the garden I was like, oh no they're all looking droopy I've got no water to water them but then it poured with rain at the weekend so bank holiday Saturday or Friday Saturday it absolutely poured so, and I went to Norwich on Saturday and saw, oh, the little kitten. I saw the little kitten. So I'll put a little video. It's only a little bit of the kitten at the end. I did say, oh, can I take a, a video of um, Lana? Thank you to everyone who commented on my last video. And there were some lovely, lovely, lovely comments. And you know how much I like reading all your comments. And they make me so happy and a bit tearful sometimes. And yeah, really nice. Thank you for taking the time. To comment and thank you to Sue. Hello Sue if you're watching, who bought me a Kofi coffee. So I went out with my daughter and I said to her, I said, oh Sue is, is buying us a little coffee. <laughs> thank you, we'll be coffee. Um, which was really lovely. So that was really, really appreciated. Thank you so much. And I think my family still can't quite believe when I say, oh, I've got so many subscribers now. So I had my goal of a thousand, but I don't have any more goals. That was just it. I just thought I'll oh, I can't imagine having that many, that'd be amazing. So I'd kind of set myself that goal. But then apart from that, I don't really have any goals now. I'm just settling into it and enjoying doing it. And um, I hope you enjoy what I bring you. Um, I do do lots of different things, uh, but I think lots of you are different. Make different crafts yourself. We have multi-crafters, we call ourselves, don't we? Lots of you are multi-crafters as well. Um, I'm going to plug in the drill. I don't know if I'll drill the seagrass, but I'm going to plug in the drill and maybe drill a bit of seagrass. Oh, but then I can't wash my hands. But that's the thing. I can wash my hands in a bowl of water because I can put it in, but I can't. I'm running water. So then I'm going to have all sea glass, bits of glass. I think I don't feel like I'm washing my hands properly. So there's so many things. I want to do the garden. can't wash my hands properly. So I might not do that. I'll cut out some more hexes, should I? and it's very early i've recorded early today so i have got a bit of time to do some crafting today so i'll do something i don't know it'll be a surprise next time the giveaway results i'm going to give out in a few we i haven't pulled the name out yet obviously because i've got another day and then as soon as that is up time is up i will cut all the names up put them in the hat and my lovely husband neil is going to pull out two people's names one for the yarn prize and one for the fabric prize and then we can see who wins and then they can email me and I'll pop the prizes in the post. So I love doing giveaways. It's so exciting. It's really nice to give something something back. Because as you know, if you've watched me, that I give I get a lot from you and your comments and everything as well. So that's really nice. And I'm going to love you and leave you now and decide what I'm going to do. Probably have a cup of tea with some water that's been put in a saucepan <laughs> ready for me to boil <laughs> pouring in the kettle from when we did have the water on so yeah think of me this week <laughs> hope the plumber can come soon um take care everyone i hope you have a lovely week and i will see you again very soon bye